So Image Dream was generous enough to send me down to Miami to participate in a workshop focusing on documentary filmmaking. This one happened to take us into the Everglades. The Everglades looks like a swamp, but it's actually a river. The natives call it the River of Grass. The workshop was taught by a well-respected cinematographer in our industry, Philip Bloom. That's him there. We were working with an organization called Love the Everglades. They're an organization focused on restoring the Everglades ecosystem. They airboated us into the Everglades to talk with some of the members of the Miccosukee tribe to discuss the issues plaguing the Everglades ecosystem. The issues ran deep, too complex to discuss in this video, but we get the gist of it in our mini documentary that I'll post here in the next couple of weeks or so. It comes down to cleaning the water and restoring proper flow to the river. Achieving that's a whole other story. It was a great opportunity to get a look into a different way of life while learning some new filmmaking techniques along the way. It was a challenge to create a mini documentary in such a short amount of time, less than one day of shooting and less than a full day of editing. Not an ideal way to make a film on such an important subject, but getting something done in such a tight time frame will definitely teach you something about yourself. Lots of lessons learned here. At the end of our shoot day, we all gathered on the dock and set up our cameras for a sunset time lapse. Each camera pointed at the same sun, yet they all achieved a different look in the end. There are definitely worse ways to spend the end of the day especially in February, when you're from Michigan, and your driveway is covered in snow and ice. If you'd like to learn more about saving the Everglades, visit lovetheeverglades.org. Also, make us a habit by liking us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.